Welcome, everyone, to the first Footprints Podcast. I'm your co-host, Shay Tony Grant. With me, I got my other two brothers, Mr. Derek. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Derek, Derek. Stevenson. <laughs> Derek Stevenson. And I got my man, the chaplain, the deacon, Reverend Ferguson. Say what's up to me, big dog. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ram. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> so this podcast is about us three giving you know our perspective on student success. Um, we're going to be discussing different topics and how we can help students become successful in college. We'll also have special guests on the show. If you like to be a special guest, please leave a comment below in the podcast. We'll be sure to get you on the show. All right. So for today's topic, we'll be talking about the value of mentorship, right? So um, I like to go around the room to ask uh, Mr. Derek. Yes, sir. Who was your first mentor? Uh, um, we, we talking family? I, I got a couple of big cousins out there. You know, that it could be anybody show, you show want. Show me the ropes early on. Um, the first person that really comes to mind was, uh, his name is Mr. J.C., he was actually a substitute teacher in high school uh, for our biology class. Fun fact, him okay. and that biology teacher end up getting married and still married to this day. <laughs> Shout out to them. That's crazy. No, nah, that's crazy. He, yeah, he ended up becoming a full-time teacher at the school, William and Reigns. Um, and he became the R R advisor for a student organization on campus. Mm -hmm. um, nonetheless, we work really closely with him um, with inside that student organization like Brotherhood. And he just became someone who I really admire, really like looked up to, um, and who made intentional effort to teach me certain things about uh, developing not only as a man, but developing you know, or making that transition into college. Um, and so I I would count him as, if not the first, one of my first mentors um, that truly had a huge impact on my life. Man, special shout out to him, man. Mr. That's love JC. right there. Love you, man. Oh, he's he's also a brother, Alpha Phi, Alpha Fraternity. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> no, I think that's important because that is, like that, is, that, that helped is. influence the decision. Um, uh, like it was Alpha or nothing for me at that point. I love it. I it love it. The college. So uh, huge shout out to my fraternity brother, also <laughs> Mr. JC. Love you, man. What about you, Mr. Ferguson? Uh, I, I I gotta. I, I'm. I'm kind of torn, because mm. on one hand... You better say Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> See, oh, look, 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 on one hand, I had, a, I had an older cousin, um, and she kind of she kind of guided me through life. You know, grew up in a single-parent home. Uh, she was there, you know, teenage years, giving me advice, this, that, and the other. Uh, but my pastor just okay. <laughs> keeping it a buck and a half. I love it. Um, when I became a teenager... Uh, it wasn't just the spiritual part, but he would he would just um, just talk to me straight about everything, mm, about right, life, right, you know, right. about women, about you know what I, what I want to do later on in life. Um, and he just you know he, he he was real with me at a time where I didn't trust a lot of people. Mm, mm, that's and so right. I, 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 I appreciate him to this day. You know, I can call him up and, and you know we just chop it up. So. I'm, I'm, I'm telling my cousin helped me get my first Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she, she, she was my advocate out here. Like, 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 we, we, we need this over here. We need right. our we need our Nintendo, our Super Nintendo, whatever. But right. uh, my pastor, you know, it's, it's just it's just what it is. So love to hear. Um, I'm in the same boat as you uh, and you, Derek. Uh, my first mentor. Oof. I might get some phone calls after this. <laughs> That's why I got to think. Right, I, was like, I got to choose wisely. Yeah, I know. I got to. I got to break it down because I have. A, I still up to this. Day, I got a lot of mentors, right? Uh, and all of them. <laughs> and all of them definitely played a part in my life to get me where I am today. Um. So I'm. I'm. If I gotta go first, I'm gonna go all the way back. Probably middle school. Um. I want to say Mr. Orby. 
Um, he was uh, my middle school basketball coach. We had all athletes. We went undefeated. We lost in the championship. Mm-hmm. Boo hoo. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Hey, hey, we cried that day. I took pictures. Um, the reason why I want to start with him. And oh, oh, shout out to you, Miss G. I ain't forget about you because I know you about to. Oh, mm-hmm. All right, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, I, it's, but, but I'll say, Mr. Orby. Hands up, be, don't shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I say, Mr. Orby, because he was the one that told me, "Hey, shit, Tony, you need a mentor." And at the time, you know, I was a knucklehead and I was hard headed. I was like, Ah, nah, I'm good. But uh, he was 110 percent right. I definitely did need a mentor, and obviously, like I said, it helped me to be the man I am today. And I'm still going. <laughs> All right. So my other question for us is, um, what does it mean to be a mentor? Right. You know what I'm saying? That, that plays a vital part. Um, I'm going to let you take it over, Ms. D. Right. No, I think that's an important question because that, that aids in like, us answering a question of like, who is our mentor. Um, I would say I'm, I'm going to go with, kind of the opposite of a mentor is not someone that tells you all the answers, mm-hmm. right? A, a mentor is there to, who has some uh, experience in a particular area that you may be looking to grow in um, and gives you the lead way to make mistakes, give you the lead way to develop your own opinion, but is there with you along the way to give insight at certain points um and more importantly aid in reflecting Mm -hmm. um on your experiences and the last thing i would toss into the midst is someone who is in like goal setting as well Mm -hmm. so uh that's the angle i i choose to like center on of like again it's not someone who's going to hold your hand the entire time, mm-hmm. but they are going to be there for, for that support um, as you're trying to make your transition um, throughout the stages of life. I love it. Absolutely. What about you, Rail? Well, I, I like this, this, this article here. Um, it's on uh, James Cole. Mm-hmm. James Cole, what are, what are the three A's of mentorship? Um, first one is availability. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, the mm. second is active listening. Mm. Yes, sir. And the third one is analysis. And I'm going to piggyback off what my brother Derek said. Um, it's not about holding your hand or giving you the answers or making you cookie a cookie cut of who they are. Right. Uh, but they should help you grow into who you are. Mm-hmm. Um, that, that's the whole conversation in the purpose <laughs> and everything else. I, I, I ain't here to preach. Uh, I, 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 I felt like you didn't know. <laughs> hey, look. I, I was like, look, oh, I was looking oh, at hey, Rev. Hey, you with my, with my towel in real quick. <laughs> <laughs> look, and over hey. in and over in three Corinthians. No. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, it's all serious. This, um, it, it's, it's, as, as Derek said, it's, it's someone who who walks with you. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, even when you, you, you have those bumps in the road, they're there to say, listen, okay, get up. What did you learn from it? How can you grow from it? How can you move forward from your experiences? They're, they're there with you. Um, they help you to avoid pitfalls, but at the same time, they're not trying to make you into a mini them. And I think, um, well, and I, know, I think we're gonna deal with this a little bit later, but that's one of the issues <laughs> that there mm-hmm. are so many people who want want you to be just like them when God didn't create me to be like you. Right. Mm-hmm. right. I, it, it costs too much. It costs too much. <laughs> it costs too much. <laughs> Look, I ain't got time for all that. Yeah, I know I, it. I, I got to be me. And, you know, God has brought you into my life for a season, for a reason. So the three A's, uh, I, I like these three A's. Um, uh-oh, availability, there it is. Availability, active listening, and analysis. Mm. Yeah. For me, um, man, it's, it's a lot. Me, I think, obviously, what you guys said is great, um, but there's a little thing I look for, and that's accessibility. Okay. I look for accessibility um, because, you know, I'm a knucklehead child, so, you know, I have a lot of energy and I do a lot of things, mm-hmm. and I need to know if I call you, like, I need to make decisions, you know, um, And yeah, to me, it's accessibility and the ability to sit down and make me make decisions. Like, so one thing I remember with my boy, 
my boy, my coach, Coach mm-hmm. Edwards, he used to sit down and be like, I mean, you could do that. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen, mm-hmm. but you can do it. And, you know, a couple of times I did it and – and you know, right, right there, I, I looked at him. There, there was nothing to be said because he said what's gonna happen. Bruh. But <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he always came back and like tell me, because I, you know, a lot of people say I was always a good kid, which I still am, a good, you know, young man. Um, but I just needed guidance and direction. And him being accessible in my life, you know, I went through a lot, really impacted my life. You know, so I, I definitely believe accessibility for me. And if I could give you a call, I'd text you, but, you know. Because think about it. If we all got busy lives, busy schedule. For you to take time out of your day to help someone, you obviously. And then, you know, I wasn't a uh, goody-goody two-shoe. You obviously care about them. Like, you're right. not doing this right. for anything beneficial. So accessibility is one of the key things for me. Like, if I could give you a call so, and you're accessible. So let me ask. Um, we, we talked about our first mentors. Mm-hmm. Um but who would you consider to be that mentor or that person that like helped save you or like just came at a very critical time, right? Were you trying to get me shot? <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I? All right, I'll give you some wait time. I'll give you some wait time. Scroll down these contacts real quick again. Uh, no, I, so so I'll give you some wait time. I, I answer first because like that's what came up for me. Okay. It's like I had my first mentor or I, who I said uh, from high school, right? But in more recent years, I faced different things, mm-hmm. and I that mentor wasn't as accessible, right? Meaning that it's been ten years since I've last seen her, or mm-hmm. ten plus years since I've been at high school, and I've acquired different mentors that fit where I am today in my life. Mm-hmm. Um, so I found myself teaching here in North Carolina. Um, I was two and a half, close to three hours away from home, no family, Mm. um, none of my friends that I had just spent the last four years of my life with, um, just feeling alone. Mm -hmm. On top of that, I was the only black male teacher in my school. Mm. Wow. And so, like, for others, that may not seem like a big deal, but... We, when we talk about representation, it's important to see yourself inside of that environment. Can I build meaningful relationships with other people? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. But there's a certain level of camaraderie that comes with people who um, have those shared experiences because they also share some of those other identity markers. Mm-hmm. And here's where faith and um, kind of alignment comes into play. I remember... I was sitting in my car every single day before school, just like I'm ready to quit. <laughs> and this was my hey, no, first that's semester, rough. Yeah. right? Yeah, that's tough. I yeah. was like, it. And reflecting back on that huge part was, I didn't know how to show up to the space and be authentic. Mm-hmm. And there were a few models of that. You know, Mr. JC was one of my few black male teachers. And at the time, he was just my sub, right? Yeah. So there was few models of that in, internally I knew I couldn't do what some of the other people in my building was doing. There was just this internal resistance. So when we talk about alignment, mm-hmm. one week someone was like, hey, you should get in contact with this teacher over at the high school. The next week, someone else is like, someone completely different. Mm -hmm. Hey, you should talk to this teacher over at this high school. Wow. And then my assistant principal was the third person, somebody totally different (laughs) and totally different context from the other two was like, I would recommend you talk to LaShawn Jenkins over at the high school up the street. Oh, you got it. And That's once the message. third yeah. person said, I was like, I don't know oh, who this guy is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know nothing about him, 
But I need to reach out to this guy. Like, if three people in mm-hmm. three different yeah. contexts said, hey, I think this guy would, like, be a you. good mm-hmm. mentor, a good model, good friend, a good brother, and whatnot. Uh, I th- toss him brother because he's... Oh, yeah, nah. bad brother. <laughs> he also, <laughs> he also <laughs> happens to be an yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to cool. fire you off. Okay, all right. I'm going to let you hear you, my brother. Okay. No, but... And so... I just reached out to the guy. I emailed him, um, and he literally showed up to my lunch period the same day. Wow. Right? He came over. Mm. Our lunches was the same, so he came over from the high school during his lunch period Mm -hmm. and just sat with me, and we still communicate to this day. Right? I love Um, it. And, again, it was one of those things. I say, like, Loosely, like he saved my life, or he came at a very critical time because I had so many doubts about my progression in the field of education and finding myself. Right, I was so attached to an identity from my previous experiences, but mm-hmm. I was in a new environment, uh, with new people, um, with new challenges, and in order to elevate it, I needed some type of support. And I just felt like he came in a, a very critical time, right? That's, so that's major, bro. That is major. <laughs> hey, he man, that man said he sent the car, <laughs> looking at the Lord like, every help day. me, Jesus. <laughs> hey, not every day, every day. <laughs> he went hey. to St. Louis, so like, <laughs> he said he pulled up to the scene like, bro. Right. Right. Hey, I, hey. Like, do I do I cut this car off? <laughs> <laughs> Do I need yeah, this? Let me, let me take a, let me take another trip around the block. Really quick. <laughs> um, you want to go rev or you want me to go? Uh, you, you go go ahead. Oof. You, you, you got it, on. Oh man, I'm a savior. Mm. A, a another but the Lord. That's what I can say. Cause oh man, look. So I would do. Let's do high school. Let's go. Let's do high school. Oh no, no. Let's do middle school. I gotta give everybody the respect they deserve. Um, I have about four of them. Not four, four of them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, for, the, for those out there that's trying to spell that, that's F O. <laughs> about four of them in middle school. And the whole thing was, like I said, I wasn't a bad kid. I just had so much energy and I didn't want to just do work. Like I wanted to be active and, you know. So shout out to Miss G. I want to give her a translation. Cause I was a middle school teacher, so you was one of those students that had me sitting in my car. <laughs> <laughs> For the record, you yeah. was wow. no, no, no. So, so, so my thing was, I wasn't like, I wasn't bad. I just talked, and you know, I yeah, yeah, I was, I was one of them. <laughs> I was one of them. I was, but I had a good heart. And, and let me tell you, <laughs> I had no, let me tell you something. Um, you know, fast forward to when I graduated with my master's degree, and a couple of my middle school. Um, Teachers reached out to me. It was like they were proud of me, and I thought they didn't like me because you know I was I was loud. And I wasn't loud. I was just having fun and whatever. Yeah, they yeah, said I just, yeah, I just need to be in the room, right? <laughs> <laughs> so they told me um, under the comment, um, there was like, no, you was always a good kid. You just needed like direction. Like you had so much right. energy. You weren't a bad kid. You were a good kid. You just had so much energy, and then you had to learn when it was a time and place. Because back then, I wasn't trying to hear it. I was just having fun. Yeah. I'm like, hey, Mr. Allen, man, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Allen used to be laughing like, so Tony, just go sit down, bro. Just go sit down because it ain't the time and place. So shout out to Mr. Orvin, Mr. Allen, Miss G, um, and Miss Shepard, man. She she got me out of the jam. And Mr. Marcelago, so shout out to you. God, that's a lot of shout outs. Right, and um, yeah, we, we just don't stop for there. So high school, I got blessed. By one of my boys, um, we played football named Valentine. He was like, hey, you need to meet Miss Tanner, right? I was like, Miss Tanner? She was like a 10th grade teacher. And to this day, I still talk to her. Um, she made sure that I had my mind right, you know. And then when I played football, I met Coach Edwards. Coach Edwards was my dog okay. to, this, to this day. To this, <laughs> to this day. Okay. Him, AD, on my dog. I'm going to tell you about that. So, you know, 
uh, Miss Tanner, to this day, you know, she always tells me she's very a godly uh, Christian woman. Um, she a no nonsense type of woman. So when I had her as a teacher, you know, it got so bad to the point that she failed me on a test that I was finished that I put my head down on. She was like, "You're not gonna put your head down in my class." Oh. And we got in an argument. Intentions was high. I didn't disrespect her, of course. I don't do that. And I was mad. And then I came out the class. We talked about. It. She goes, "You know what? I'll give you a 50, which is an F, but <laughs> but at least you ain't got a zero." You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I'm 50. I'm 50. I, I, I thought you were going to say like 70. Nah, no, no, no. Like, 50. Yeah, like, yeah. I, had, I made an 80. She dropped it to a 50 because it was the principal. It was the principal. And and I, and I had to understand that. At the time, you know, I was like mad, but I understood that. I, I, I can't take that home. <laughs> <laughs> well, Val, going to wear me out. Hey, hey, hey. It, it was either that or a zero. Let me, let me uh, yeah, I, I got to take the 50. Fair. I, I guess. Yeah, so. Just, just don't uh, put a number on it. Just right. <laughs> and when I tell you, when I tell you these people helped me out, man, I'm talking about like my mom went to work. I had football practices. Shoot, I had football games. They in the stand. They know. People at that uh, Liberty High School knew my sisters more than I knew my sisters. That's how much, how much they would watch them. It was like, Shatoni, where's your sister Grace? I'm like. You know, I'm here. Like, hello? Like, yeah, but hey, Grace. I was like, oh, well, well, she's going to be taken care of. I remember one time, you know, my mama came and was like, well, he can't play in this game. And my coach was like, what? And I'm sitting there like, what? <laughs> I got to babysit my sister. So Miss Tanner and Miss V, shout out to you, Miss Monty Walker. Um, they babysit my sister during the games and practices when my mom had to work. And they helped pick them up. You know, obviously I graduated, so I can talk about it now. Back then, that was kind of like a, you know, type of thing. So they used to drive out there, pick them up from school, do all that good stuff. Special shout out to them. Now, Coach Edwards, okay. he was my defensive back coach. When I tell you that's a rider, bro, Got that you. man called me to this day, bro. Anything you need, I'm flying out there, bro. That man, let me. that's what really saved me. Um, and then 80s next. He saved me by this. So I was homeless. A lot of people don't know this. I was homeless. My senior, going to my senior, I ain't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Hardship, whatever the case may be. Um, him and the head coach used to put me up at their crib. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Just for me to eat, practice, whatever the case may be. He used to pick up my sister, feed them, do all that good stuff. I lived with him for two years. Nice house. Nice house. Big old house. I'm looking like, bruh. Like, he got a whole golf cart. At the crib. So, yeah. In the country. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? At the country. I'm like, coach. They call him every month to change his password if he choose to do it. I said, oh, this is what I need to live in. I went in his house. I had my own room. He's like, you can stay in the back right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, how did you get this? He goes, well, I got a master's degree. I went and got my education. That's why we try to tell you to go get your education. Oh, that's all it took. And it was like the way he carried himself. He was a level-headed guy. It's crazy because I'm loud and he's level-headed. So we met each other. It was real cool. Um, yeah, man. Like even like when I graduated, and I didn't. You know, a lot of people don't know. I got a GED. Even when I graduated, he was there for them tough times. Her, him, Miss Tana, AD as well. Um, now I'm transitioning to AD. I met AD my sophomore year. His name is Anthony Davis. It's kind of ironic, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> and he was the director of the Boys and Girls Club in Kissimmee, Florida. And it was the number one Boys and Girls Club for two years straight when I was there. Um, he may expose me to the world. Like, we went to the Under Armour football, All-American football game. Met his wife, family, all the case. But anything football related, he trained me, do all that good stuff. Um, anything he need, I'm flying too. Anything all three of them people need, I'm gone. Like, hey, I'm putting in my time and I'm out. Um, he took care of me, drove me where I need to dr uh, drive if my family was home. Because, you know, like I said, it's not their responsibility to help, you know, me. But, it, you know, he drove two hours. Right. Hey, she told you need something, bam, you know, boom, mm -hmm. type deal. Um, and, you know, Coach Sly and all them good. God, there's a lot of mentors I had um, that saved me. Uh, one real one that really touched me, and you're going to like this one. This is going to kind of be crazy. He was a pastor. Okay. Oh, rest his soul, man. Rest his soul. He died. Um, it was me and my boy Mike. You know, we had a basketball game, and it was all the way past Orlando, and we missed <laughs> we missed the all right to get there. So I'm like, bro, Mike, who we gonna call, bro? I ain't gonna call. I can't call this. I can't call this person. And then he was like, bro, call the pastor, bro, Reverend Stevens. And I was like, bro, I'm not calling no pastor. 
Like I'm not doing. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. But he was. He was one of the realest though. He was real. And I was like, you know what, bro? I'm gonna call him. And I called him. This man drove two hours, pick us up, drive an extra two hours just when he got off work, mm. just to, just for us to play in that game at Wilder Water Sports. Wow. And then all he asked was, Tony, you know, I just want you to come to church. You know, he never forced religion on anyone. He said, I just want you to come at church and, you know, whatever the case may be. And I didn't. And he passed away my whole. When he passed away, his, his daughter called me. His Liz called me, came by the house. Oh, I was torn. I was woof. Wow. Ooh, I was silent, bro. That's why I'm, I'm big on, uh, you know, death and, and things of that nature. You got to salvage that moment. So that, that did something to me. Um, college, obviously, you know, I got to get a special shout out to these two knuckleheads. <laughs> Miss Leah Hill. Uh -oh. Special shout out to you, man, because I knew I was a handful when I stepped up in that office. You about to get hammed up, man. <laughs> right. 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 I had nothing to do with yeah. it. I, I, I hope you don't still work with these people. <laughs> <laughs> and special shout out to my dog, Coach Dez, man. I, listen to me. I came in here as a hot mess freshman year, and I know. I know they went through it with me. So I got to give a special shout out to them. Also, special shout out to the people I work with, Drew and Doug. Special shout out to y'all as well. But those are my mentors. I know I took up most of that time <laughs> <laughs> of people that saved me. Because, boy, I need a savior. Like, I'm on. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's the crazy thing. Because the more y'all talk, I'm like, goodness. I'm like, right. <laughs> yeah, he had to look write, through the I, phone. I need to, <laughs> I need to start writing some more folks down. <laughs> I, and listen to me. And that's just not even the half of it. So I know I'm about to get it. I already know I'm about to get it. You got a whole football team roster. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, hey, hey, what is it saying in the Bible, Red? OD special teams. <laughs> what is it saying in the Bible? It takes a village. Absolutely. Come on now. Well, it didn't take a village. It took a city, man. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't take a village. But go ahead, man. We want to hear it. a whole city, though. We took a whole city, man. Well, I, I, okay, I, I got to put it in reverse now. <laughs> it go, go back to my scout master because I was in Boy Scouts. Okay. Right okay. okay. I, I didn't know I was, that. I was the first Eagle Scout at my um, my church's uh, troop. Hey, give it up. Yeah. <laughs> Scout, two palms, two merit badges short of three palms. Um, now that troop has over 25 Eagle Scouts. Oh, wow. Only only troop I know in St. Louis that are cranking out black black Eagle Scouts. Um, but my Scoutmaster, um, yeah, Scoutmaster from about, mm, I came, started, started Tiger Cubs at five. And I think they I- take, Wait, wait, time out. They take y'all at five? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Tiger Cubs, like the- Oh, wow. You see, well, I don't know what they got on today, but we used to have like orange t-shirts on and they just- Five? They, they just let us run around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go run, ahead, run around, take a nap. <laughs> Go ahead, so, man. So, so uh, uh, from from about five to about I'm gonna say about thirteen, fourteen, uh, my scoutmaster Fred Lee Sr. Uh, was somebody that I could look to. Um, it, like he he would never age, but he would he would talk he would sit down and talk to us mm -hmm. and give us the real, Love you it. know. And so uh, it it started there, but then I also gotta give a shout out to um, the late Melvin Rhodes. Mm. Uh, he was a family friend. Um, when I was about nine, was I nine or ten? Mother and father divorced. Mm -hmm. I would go to my dad's every once in a while. Eventually, I was supposed to go to my dad. Something happened. I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. He didn't call. He didn't show up. Um, I call, used to call him Mr. Melvin. Um, would would come through. He taught me how to drive. Mm. Um, taught me about you know um, you know the importance. And well, I'm glad somebody taught you that because I used to drive it like I stole it. <laughs> <laughs> what <are> you <laughs> hey, hey, make sure the statute of limitations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, 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 I don't know what happened. I wasn't, I wasn't there. I wasn't. Go he, ahead, man. He, he, ta he taught me how to drive. He taught me about hygiene as a teenager. Mm, yeah, we need that. I mean, because I mean, I mean, my mother would say, you know, hey, boy, go take a bath. But, you know, I don't mm. take my just It was like, listen, uh, things are changing. You need to. Yeah. And you know what COVID taught me? It's a lot of dirty people in this world. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> <Are you laughs> <going there>? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, when they saw something, wash your hand. I was like, what? Y'all ain't been doing that? <laughs> like I thought that was, I, 
Hey, Maybe I'm going crazy. I've, hey, I've, I've, I've seen him. I've seen him. Please save us, bro. Side note, I've seen him in 2021 going to the bathroom and not wash their hands. That's, that's a whole nother subject for another time. Thank you. Oh, that's another but, podcast. But, <laughs> that's a whole nother that's, podcast. That's, that's, that, that can be a whole series right there. <laughs> Um, but he, he he taught me the importance of hygiene as a young man and how to carry my, myself. Mm. So my scoutmaster came and um, he he kind of you know as a child I was the only only uh, um, black boy out playing soccer. Right. Okay. Only one, and he he helped me to help me to feel comfortable in my own skin. Right. Mr. Melvin. Um, you know, those early teenage years, you know, things are happening. And I could ask him some, some of those difficult questions that I couldn't ask my mother. My pastor uh, came around the same time as Mr. Melvin. He, he actually, when I was getting my Eagle Scout, it was my pastor's first Sunday. And normally they do something, you know, a welcome program and everything else. Um, but I, I didn't know him that well then. But the fact that he was, he, he let me have my Eagle Scout ceremony and everything else, when they were trying to you know, have a big old banquet for him, um, it spoke volume. It speaks volume now that I passed. I, right. it's, mm-hmm. it's like, okay. okay you understand. That was, yeah, that, that, was, yeah, that was major. So um, so I had to go back and I had to, oh, and, and the late uh, Ryan Coach Jones, Auntie Pooh, please don't get me. <laughs> uh, uh, he used to, have, we, we used to be outside snowing it's snowing outside, and we out doing military uh, uh, left face, right face, a bow oh, face, no. Oh, no. mark time, and everything else. But he was teaching us discipline. Mm-hmm. Now, we couldn't stand it because we had to do push-ups. We got to do 25 push-ups in the snow. Right. But now, looking back on it, it's like, okay, coach, we got you. We understand you know, why you were doing what you're doing. But the more y'all talk, this is all I'm saying, it's like, Hey, I got to write some names down. Yeah, yeah. Kind of hitting on what you said is the more you talk, but particularly at this age right now, Mm -hmm. especially when I'm working to transform to be that person for other people, I recognize, I look back and was like, how many people was there along the journey to who really went out of your way, yes, sir. Mm-hmm. right? Yes, sir. To yes, sir. support me in my development, right? Absolutely. Being a teacher, I look back and recognize how many things my teachers did mm-hmm. that were not listed in their job description mm-hmm. just to make sure I had what I needed to just be as successful as possible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? So, um, yeah, that's that's the beautiful thing of, of, of the maturity that you reach right now, um, which informs, like, how I move forward, how I choose, um, and intentionally work to, like, support people who are now coming behind me, that's you right. know? That's I right. respect that. I respect that, man. I love these stories, yeah. boy. We can take a trip down Main Lane any man, day. Yeah. <laughs> So, so here's the real. Here's a real question. Okay. And I know. Oh, I know. This, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> so tell me. Uh-oh. Here we go. About the most disappointing mentor you ever had. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the name out. <laughs> yeah, Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not gonna use names. We're not gonna go, use names. Go ahead and plead the fifth. <laughs> oh, I'm not. Oh, I got something to get off my chest. I'm, gonna ahead, I'm not gonna I'm plead gonna, this fifth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna plead the fifth. Oh, this you pleading this fifth? I'm gonna I'm I'm pass it to rap. All right, well, you, you <laughs> <laughs> let us pray. Father. <laughs> 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 um. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to open up a prayer, but we gonna close in it. You hear from me on? Yeah, we gonna close in. All right, that's fair. So go ahead, man. Let it out, man. We ain't gonna say no names though. No, 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 I ain't gonna gonna drop no names. Um, There was one person in particular, um, who it seemed like was just—I don't even know how to describe it. It Just, just, just hell bent on Mm. whatever, whatever I was doing. It was always wrong. Um. You know, um, would 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 be real cordial in public, but behind the scenes it was a constant breaking down 
Anytime I got a phone call from this person, there was nothing, anything. It was there was never anything encouraging, nothing. Hey, I see you. You, you know, you're trying to do this, that, and the other. It was always negative, to the point where I started to doubt what I what I believe God was calling me to do. Mm. Um, I, I, I was like, and I know, I know, I got some things I have to learn, right. <laughs> mm-hmm. right. but. Everything? <laughs> I mean, I ain't, I'm not. I ain't doing nothing right. I mean, <laughs> I can picture. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you Why can't you make keep me calling me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make you put your phone on do not disturb. Oh, oh. On, on, si- on silent, face <laughs> down. <laughs> I'm crying right now. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm here if you need to talk to me. <laughs> I'm, 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 man, I, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. I was, man, ooh, okay, it, was about, it was about a good, and, and I was, um, this was a person in leadership, mm-hmm. um, and I had to report to this person. Mm, that sucks. Which means that there's constant conversation. So over, you know, uh, let's say between three and five years, mm-hmm. The only time I heard something good was when I was doing exactly what this person wanted me to do. Mm, one the, of those. The, the, the only time. The only time. Anything else, if, if we did something, uh, um, and, and that, person, that person would get accolades because of the ministry that, was, was being, was, that, that, that we were doing. This person's name would get shouted out. Um, yeah, we see this, that, and the other. But the phone call afterwards. Yeah, why you doing this? Why you doing that? You know, you should be on. How long was he your mentor? Well, he had to because he was above you, right? Type uh, deal. Yeah, one of those. Yeah. Who my, you my, than my, me? my supervisor. Mm. Um, yeah. Mm, you better. <laughs> uh, the name almost. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, yeah, you know, like I said, between three and five years, every phone call. It, it, now it started out real friendly. It started out real friendly. We want to welcome you, this, that, and the other. But over time, that thing changed. Mm. <laughs> and it was every conversation, oh, why'd you do this? And if you can't get it together, we're going to get you out of here. Wow. And we, What type of mentor? For three to five years to the place that I, again, I questioned whether or not I was called to do what I believe God called me to do. I think you were because that taught you patience and discipline. Cause me, I ain't got any one of them. Well, you know, well, I would act a fool. Well, full, full transparency now at the house, at, 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 in the car. <laughs> <laughs> like the car chronicles. There, 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 there's that. There's that podcast right there. The car chronicles. Oh, man. Don't now, please believe. <laughs> Y'all about to reactivate something. <laughs> PTSD. I've been, I've been look, suppressing. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Just full transparency. I, I know this is going to offend some people, but I, I, shoot, I had to get a few words off my chest. Mm, there you go, bro. <laughs> that's what we you hear, know, man. Had just, had, had, you know, that's what I said, the car chronicles. I, 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 let me just, pull let me up. Just, let me just ride for, let me just ride right. down the road. Let me just, let me just get on the highway for right. a minute and get all this out of my system. Um, Because if that person was in my life in my teenage years. Oh, them hands would be thrown? That's what you... They would have got cussed out. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. No no doubt about it. No doubt about it. We we don't want Rev to lose his religion. No, I I don't... (laughs) Hey, hey, all I'm going to say is this. All I'm going to say is this. And God, forgive me for my sin. (laughs) Jesus walked in the church and started flipping stuff because he was angry. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? That's all I'm gonna say. We are gonna leave that there. We I'm just gonna leave but, that on the but, table. But, but it wasn't gonna be a table flip. <laughs> <laughs> it was gonna be, you know, I'm I'm a I'm a wrestling fan as well. You know, <laughs> people's elbow out there. <laughs> I got you. Know. Hey, you probably would have been the people's champ for that. <laughs> <laughs> Stone Cold Stun or something, you know, something, powder bro. or something like that. I used that, to go to the car screaming, I hate it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh man, them, yeah, them, yeah, them car see, chronicles. See, 
But if if Ralph was like that, I'm scared for Chantone to tell this. Oh I'm, my. Trying to, I'm over here holding the table trying to brace myself for, oh, for, man. for your story. You, you know, I, I picked up, I was going to throw the phone at first. I, <laughs> I, was, I was like, nah, I better not throw the phone. Let me, nah, that's let me, money let me, right let, let, let me, Nah, I can't throw this. Oh, no. man. He said, why me? <laughs> yeah, what's going Am I that terrible? I mean, Ooh, get, get somebody to do this. Everybody, no. I want this, want this headache over here. So <laughs> I digress. I've healed from it. Amen. I'm That's in a better place now. Because <laughs> um, there was a minute or two. They're like, you know what? Here, let me let me take this collar off real quick. Hey, <laughs> man, I feel you, man. Uh, I 100% let understand. Me, let me go um, Let me go North St. Louis real quick. <laughs> let me go in there. All right. I'm, I'm going to pass it along. <laughs> <laughs> so, <sighs> I had to breathe. Cause it's really affecting me mentally. So I had a, a coach, whatever the case may be, and um, he worked at Under Armour. You know, put on this great facade that he was like a big dog in Under Armour, whatever the case may be. Now he did get tickets and take his places, whatever the case may be. And he knew my situation. He knew my, you know, all of us. He had all like the ghetto kids. We all go out, you know, and then we made him look good type deal. Like, oh yeah, you see these kids got talent. He just are not, you know, that, that, mm-hmm. you know, when you go to camps yeah. and stuff. So one camp, it was an Under Armour. I think. Oh, so every, I think Under Armour works like this. I know somebody gonna correct me because I'm definitely gonna be wrong about this. But they got the All American, then they got the prospects. Okay. The upcoming All American, right? So mm-hmm. it was one of those camps, whatever case may be. Um, to like to go there, watch them, whatever case may be. I couldn't go, and my boy Mike couldn't go, and he made us look like, like we, like he disowned us, like we were, like we made him, we embarrassed him, and blah blah. blah. I'm like, bro, now you know I ain't got no car. This is about three hours away. How was I gonna get there? And mind you, I'm like, I want to say sophomore year. In high school, and I, and you know, my boy Mac was like, "Yo, I'm done. Like, you just been using us for our talent. Like, I'm done." And he called it. He caught it and called it before I caught it and called it. But he, after that moment, I separated myself from him. You know, keep a cordial whatever case maybe because he's a, an adult, obviously. Mm-hmm. But after that, I was like, "Nah, I mess with it." So years fly by, and obviously I went to college and I came back. I was like, "Yo, Coach Edwards." Such and such was a con artist, bro. He was like, "Well, I'm happy that you figured it out because I don't like to throw slander on someone's name." And that, see, and I respect yeah. them for that. Yeah. You see what I'm? Yeah. You see, that's why I'm like, you know what, Coach, you right. I figured it out because I'm like, I went, you know, went to college, got a degree, whatever case be. I understand the system. I'm like, wait, whoa. He was just posing mm-hmm. just to make himself look good. So he used us, and he didn't help us. He didn't mentor us. He just told us, "Oh, you need to do this, this, this." Mm-hmm. I go to my boy AD. He was like, "What?" Like. Who, did, did he even play college football? Because AD played for UCF with Brandon Marshall <laughs> when they were good. So it's like, did he even play football? I was like, oh. <laughs> I just listened. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, so yeah, that really scarred me. I know that was a short story, but that really, really scarred me. Like, using me and I ain't have, it's different. It's not different, but picture using a kid that ain't got nothing and just throw him to the side. Like it's like, bro, what? He ain't got nothing. Like, what, what, like you know, type deal. So wow. that affected me. And I pulled up this wall. Then my boy Valentine was like, "You need Miss Tanner." Met Miss Tanner, and then well, sky's the limit. There, we went, right. you know, all the way. So, are you still gonna plead the fifth? Yeah, on- I'm gonna still plead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play that one. I'm gonna let it rock. <laughs> you gonna let it rock? All right, <laughs> all right. So, well, go, go ahead. Go ahead. No, nah, no, nah, I'm gonna. No, go ahead. I, 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 I had this. One, I want to hear your. You nah, know, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna with my original statement and plead the fifth. <laughs> 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 what is Judge Judy? Oh, man. What, what was that? The people's people, score. People's score. Thank you. I was about to say. So one, one, here's, something, here's a stat that I've really found interesting in mentoring or mentorship in general. 71%, 71% of Fortune 500 companies have mentoring programs. Mm-hmm. I didn't know. What was that? Well, I well, I did find out about when it was a Goodwill program, and I told Mr. Orby I don't need that, so okay. I blocked that blessing. But I was blessed to have another opportunity and chance. But I really find that interesting. Like seventy-one percent mm-hmm. of Fortune five hundred companies have mentoring programs. Right. Sure, I take advantage of that real quick. Well, I um, 
kind of pointing to some of the examples y'all gave, um, I definitely find a difference between being like appointed a mentor mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. because I've had like uh, mentors that's been appointed to me do various roles. I had a teaching mentor. I had uh, I was part of mentoring programs, mm -hmm. but I didn't get to decide my own mentor. They assigned me to someone um, versus some of the mentors that kind of uh, uh, appear organically, right? Mm -hmm. Or just natural conversation, natural through exposure, those relationships kind of develop. Um, but no, to to what you're saying, I definitely like participated in some mentor program mm -hmm. as well. And so say, I think not to say they weren't. Great so so I like that. I yeah. like that. I'm gonna tell you why I like that because there's a difference between forcing it on someone and letting oh, yeah. it come to you. Now oh, yeah. I feel like you know at a young age you need to let it come to you, but once you get all the tools, right. you need to take advantage of these resources. Yes, yeah. because at the end of the day, right. that I think that's the main problem like nobody takes advantage of these resources right so now you go nobody never helped me when this resource was here this whole time you didn't take it no i totally agree go ahead man mm -hmm. you breathing over there <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm hesitant to say this but i'm gonna go ahead and say it <laughs> go ahead um within the church mm -hmm. sometimes persons who should serve as mentors are so either jealous of, envious of, mm -hmm. or, um, uh -oh. whew, what's the word I, I want right here? Um, <laughs> jealous, envious. I'm, I'm going to stick with jealous and envious. Okay. Um, they, they see, like, I'm, I'm, I'm in that weird lane right now. I'm 36 now. Okay, shout so out I'm not, to I'm not, I'm not quite the old preacher, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not that up and coming anymore. And oftentimes, what happens is some of the older preachers try to hold their spot. Right. That's what I want to say. Mm. <laughs> and won't help a preacher that's trying to find his or her way. Because they're going to take over his throne. Yeah. Come on now. This is not Game of Thrones. I told him. <laughs> At some point, you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you? <laughs> no, no, not, that's just that's just. I mean, what, that's, that's, that's the truth, though. That is the truth. Yeah, that is the truth. And what happens and, and part, part of the issue that goes on is persons... Now, they may seek out other mentors within the church, mm -hmm. um, but persons are ill-equipped to step into certain situations because I had somebody, I went to that person, mm -hmm. and they were so fearful of my gifting that um, they were like, ah, no, you I ain't going to let them take my spot. Just, 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 just go sit on the bench over here. Mm -hmm. This is why I love my pastor. Right. Okay. Um, because no matter, you know, um, and we, we talked about it, I was in St. Louis a couple weeks ago. Uh, we talked about it then, you know, people up and coming, he gives people opportunities. And it's in those opportunities uh, that we have a chance to grow into, you know, who God is calling us to be. Mm -hmm. But I had to get that unpopular take in. Because, you know, we're, we're, I, I think we're about to transition into, you know, seeking mentors and everything else. And I think as the church overall, we can do a better job mm. of mm. building those relationships. And it's not about my spot, right. but rather, you know, um, 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 Elijah, Elisha. Eventually, somebody's going to have to take the mantle. Right. Mm -hmm. And am I, am I secure enough to see something in you? and allow you to work your gift, work right. in your gift. And as a mentor, you want to see your mentee grow. Absolutely. Like that that's the whole thing. Like if they can't grow, then you ain't do your job as a mentor. Why'd Absolutely. you sign up for it? Absolutely. That's how I feel. Yeah, um, I mean, it, I think uh, kind of a word is competition because mm. you, you see that in other fields outside of church. I think uh, one easy example is sports or like let's take football. Yeah. I mean, in quarterbacks, should have been that mentor for the rookie that was drafted, no but one. they kind of. I and then the public perception is that they end up retiring ungratefully because it's so centered on competition, or this person is mm -hmm. taking my spot. That's knowing, cool. as as you said, well, in, in the context of football, retirement is coming. Mm -hmm. It's definite. Right, but we cling on uh -huh. so much to our identity of 
being the it guy, being the go-to, being the leader, mm -hmm. that we prioritize the competition over the being an influence to the gener generation coming up. That's right. Meaning that I'm pr prioritizing the individual over the collective development. Now, That's don't right. get me wrong in that context. There's like contracts and stuff. And mm -hmm. There's other factors that contribute. Uh, no, nah, but that's that's such a beautiful thing um, because like that we we've mentioned a couple of other things, um, but in terms of like seeking mentorship, um, what what do y'all feel are important for people to like look out for? One of okay. the things I would say off the front is I don't want to be in a position where I'm competing with my mentor, mm -hmm. right? But what mm -hmm. what, are, what are like other things that y'all feel, um, listeners, um, people, uh, college students specifically, should intentionally center or focus on whenever they're seeking out a mentor? Um, I want to say trust. Big I trust. really want to <laughs> say, yeah, yeah, big trust, man. Listen to me. Yes, sir. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm very passionate and um, I guess emotional. I am emotional. I'm like a big teddy bear, whatever the case may be. But I don't play about that trust thing, man. Like, it, it, like, like you might get swung on. Like, like, like I, don't, I, don't, I don't play. That, that escalated quick. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> I don't know if I want to co-sign or not. <laughs> now, let me tell you why I don't play about that, man. Let me, let me, I'm going to tell you why. The reason why I say I don't play about that is because I would never do it to someone else. Right. Yeah. I would never do it to someone else. So, like, I'd rather the person be up front like, bro, I, I just can't do it no more. Okay, mm -hmm. fair. Like, we on the wasting my time leading me on? No, nah, you liable to get yeah. knocking your jaw. Yeah. Liable. Uh, see, you you be having me. <laughs> it, 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 yeah, it did. <laughs> I got to shoot to the stars. Yeah, like, oh, no, like, but, but, but you got to understand, I, like, I, that's how I, much I, love and passion I have. Like, look, if look, any, like I told you, if any one of them people call, I'm taking a flight. There's oh, yeah. no question. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I built that trust with them. And the same with me. If anything happened to me, bring the ding, ding. Hey, wait. Yeah. Like that's real. Oh, so that so me fighting you wouldn't be out of oh I don't like you. It'd be out of my that's the, that's just the the way I knew how to express myself. You know what I'm I, saying? So I, I, I just won't answer the call. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna you ain't gonna catch a fade on sight. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just won't return. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like hey, the, he, he the only fade I need is Clippers. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm wearing this hat right now. <laughs> he had me until he said he gonna start swinging. I, was right. like, oh, no, I, I, I ain't gonna swing on you. I ain't gonna swing. Oh, oh, I, no, swinging would be the last. Obviously, obviously, but uh, you're gonna hear some words. Oh, yeah, oh you're yeah, gonna yeah, hear, we, we messing, we yeah, you're gonna, gonna hear the gonna words. Hear some proverbs, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna hear a lot of words. Okay, they're not coming out of the yeah. song. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is not New Testament now. <laughs> so, yeah, to me, big trust 100% yeah. trust because I ain't trust you, don't even come close to me. Yeah, yeah, I'm that type of guy, don't come close to me. I, I can't trust you. All right, I think on that same wavelength, uh, consistency. Mm, um, that's a big one. Hey, just, don't, hey don't, say don't, that again. Con, con, consistent for the folks in the back. For some, somebody just walk in the room. Consistency. Uh, um, touch your neighbor and say karate. <laughs> <laughs> karate chop your neighbor and uh, consi no, uh, consistency. Um, don't don't please don't switch up when you get around a different group. Tell them. <laughs> please, please, if if you if you are the one. Um, just, just from a spiritual perspective, if if you are the one God is sending into my life, be the same. Come on now, ten toes. Uh, you know, you know. I know, I know. Everybody out here getting wigs and everything. Else, <laughs> be, be, be the exact same. <laughs> just, just. <laughs> Hey, Halloween did just pass. <laughs> <laughs> Had mask on and everything. Be, oh. be, be the exact same. Uh, um, you know, whatever, whatever, um, you know, whatever energy level you're bringing, you know, you may be excited more days, but I don't want to catch you, you know, hanging out with your friends and you somebody totally different mm, or, on. you know, in a church setting, you know, you, you, you say hallelujah over here and now you about to bust somebody, you know, uh, over, you know, don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Mm. Whoever you are here. Is whoever you you need to be over Come here, on now. Um, because um, as a mentee, 
I'm looking for you to be consistent across the board. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean that you have to be perfect. Please understand. Doesn't mean that you have to be perfect. Um, but it does mean that you have to move the same. <laughs> Keep that same energy. Come on now. Tell them. Yeah, I would say the last thing um, is when seeking a mentor, I seek somebody who has, like, humility. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Especially when we talk about expertise. I'm I'm looking for someone who has experience in the area that I desire to grow in. Mm -hmm. However, I'm not looking for someone who treats it as if they're a know-it-all. Uh, you can't tell them nothing. Mm -hmm. um, who are so absolute about their level of knowledge in a specific area that they put themselves on a pedestal, yeah. right? Um, and that's important because with humility comes admitting mistake. Absolutely. That's true. Right? And so because I want to be able to um, receive grace whenever I misstep. Yes, sir. And I'm equally looking to observe my mentor um, exemplify the ability to admit mistake. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Seek forgiveness, um, embrace whatever grace is received, i.e., learn from their lessons, right? right? Um, so, so seeking someone who who has that expertise, but also demonstrates some level of humility. I love it. I love it. Point. And I think I that's why most of my mentors have been. I'm not going to say introvert because they're not, but are like humble calm they they analyze mm -hmm. and then they re, they respond because i'm <laughs> the complete opposite i want to break it down yeah i know you tried to talk <laughs> soft <something>. yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't want <laughs> i oh, want to no. break it down because i because they i know if i would have said <laughs> oh they just introverts <laughs> boy what? Because they not. So the I comment want, section. Right. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just here for the comments. Comment. So I just wanted to make sure I was intentional with my words. Right, no, you know, okay. because okay. I like I said, I'm I'm loud, I got a lot of energy and I'm quick to react and all that good stuff. And they're like, they don't they just calm me down like she told me, let's think about what you about to do. Mm -hmm. Well, let's think about this. And I'm like, all right, bet. Now I'm old enough to be like, before I make any big decision. I need to sit down, paper and pencil, mm -hmm. I need to go out with the pros and cons. Like, mm -hmm. you know, and I sometimes, most of the time, not some, sit down with my mentors and then we uh, we go over it, you know, because at the end of the day, they just want to see me grow and I appreciate them 10 toes. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? Right. So, Absolutely. any final thoughts before we wrap it up? No, I mean, Mr. Derek, I'm you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, I mean, Chaplain, I mean, y House start, of Hope. Y'all start laughing about the wigs. I mean, you know, they get the, they get the, man, they get the man wigs coming out now, too. You know, I'm, I'm just saying. Oh, <laughs> man. Everybody swear, you know, everything fake out here. Uh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> you ain't lying. That's all. You ain't lying. Everything. <laughs> bro, I seen people with bald heads with a with a whole long yeah, hair braids. I was like, bro, ain't no way. Oh, man. Boy, yeah, it's, it's tough. It's the, but if that's how they get it, that's how they get it, bro. Right. Shout out to yeah, you. Yeah, you um, but thank you guys for tuning in to the first podcast of the footprints i like i said i'm your co-host shantoni grant i'm Derek stevenson the cloth oh we going by nicknames and i'm the visionaire go ahead Derek. go ahead and say your name hey i got you on the next episode yeah, I know how it is. I gotta put some thought into this. <laughs> But thank you guys for tuning in. Um, on our next episode, we'll be talking about making mistakes oh, because boy. everybody makes mistakes, and we feel everybody like we <laughs> 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 Hannah Montana. Uh, hey, that, that joke was good. That, yeah, yeah, that was. Um, like, like was yeah, that, she was like that. She was like, ain't gonna <laughs> lie. Um, but yeah, next episode we'll be talking about um, making mistakes because everybody makes mistakes and how to go about the mistakes that you make. I think that's a big key thing because a lot of people, some people have pride about, I don't want to make no mistakes because, you know, they don't want to be wrong, but it's okay to make mistakes as long as you learn from them. So we ain't going to give you no spoilers. We ain't going to do all that. So thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you in another one. Peace. This episode is sponsored by North Carolina Wesleyan College. 
North Carolina Wesleyan College is a dynamic, student-centered, four-year private college that believes in the value of a liberal arts education. Wesleyan offers undergraduate, graduate, and certificate programs preparing students for professional advancement, lifelong learning, and responsible participation in their communities. If you're interested in furthering your education, please visit us at ncwc.edu. Go Bishops! <laughs>